guys, how's it going, man? Welcome back to Real Simple Mushrooms. Uh, I wanted to do a quick follow-up to my agar recipe video. A lot of new subscribers from that video, by the way, so thanks for watching. Welcome, happy to have you here. If you're finding my content for the first time and you like what you see, uh, please like this video and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Today, I'm sharing my technique and all my top tips for pouring clean agar plates. And don't forget to stick around to the end uh, for my tip on dealing with that annoying condensation. Uh, and if you haven't checked out my Patreon, please go do it. Link's in the description. But anyway, enough of that crap. Let's get to it. Okay, so first, you're going to need at least a still air box, uh, if not a flow hood, to accomplish this with any degree of success. There's a ton of great uh, still air box how-to videos on YouTube. I'll link a couple in the comments for you guys. Let me know if you want me to do one. I will. I'll make one uh, and film it for you guys if you want me to. Just let me know. Tip number two, close all your windows. Turn off any circulating air in the room at least 30 minutes before you start. This gives all the airborne contaminants and particles that are floating around in the air time to settle onto the surfaces. So then you can spray them with 70% isopropyl and you can wipe them all off. Tip three is a big one that a lot of people don't think of, and that's your clothing and your hygiene. If you're coming into your clean workspace after being out all day, all the stuff from the day clings to you, pet dander, skin cells, mold, spores, bacteria, mushroom spores from outside, all kinds of stuff. So take a quick shower, put on some clean clothes. I have a lab coat that I keep just for doing this stuff. It stays in a plastic bag when I'm not using it, you know, between cleanings. So just something to think about because that stuff can easily fall right into your plate while you're working. And uh, that's the last thing you want to do. You don't want to do all this prep and then contaminate half your plates because you forgot to change your shirt, you know. And then finally, make sure you wear a mask when you do this stuff. Our mouths and nose are full of bacteria. When we breathe and when we talk and when we're just sitting here hovering over the plates and we're breathing, that can find its way in the plate too and, and ruin your plate. So make sure you wear a mask, always just best practice. All right, first thing first, glove up. Clean your hands and forearms really good with 70% alcohol. Be really generous with the alcohol, don't be shy. Um, clean your work surfaces, tools, all that stuff, and then wipe it all down with a clean paper towel. Next, grab your pack of Petri dishes, spray and wipe those down really, really good too. Um, and once you get them clean, flip them upside down and just cut the bottom of the bag off. Then flip them back over and set them down in your workspace and just leave them there for now and leave the bag on them. Make sure your agar is cooled down to below like 140 before you try to handle it. Uh, that stuff gets pretty hot. Spray and wipe it down really good with ISO, just like everything else. You know, pay special attention to the neck and the top of the jar. Um, because that's going to be closest to the plate when you pour. Uh, set that down next to your plates. All right, when you're ready to pour, just pull the bag off of your plates. And set it nearby because you're going to use that again when you're done. Now, holding the agar jar in your dominant hand, like I'm right-handed, um, use the other hand to lift the lid off of the bottom plate with the entire stack, right? Pull it up in one smooth motion, lift the stack up, Pour your agar in there just enough to cover the bottom and then put the plate back on. Just being mindful of how much of the jar you leave hovering over the plate while you're doing that. Um, once you've poured all the plates in the stack, just put, put them aside and then cover them with that plastic that you took off earlier and then repeat the process for the next stack. Uh, and once you're all done, the best trick of it all, have some hot water ready, like almost boiling. Uh, put it in some mason jars and put those mason jars on top of your stacks of agar and what that does that lets the entire stack come down to room temperature evenly and together and will mitigate about 90% of that condensation that you see on your plates. Uh, just leave them sitting there till the next day uh, once everything's completely cooled down to uh, room temperature and then then wrap them. Okay guys, so that's about it. Uh, not too difficult, just you know, a couple of things to think about. Anytime you're working with open plates, you gotta be extra careful and extra clean. Um, if you do that, you'll have great success. Uh, one last thing I wanted to uh, touch on is how to wrap your plates when you are done pouring them. Lab Standard has been in parafilm and has been and probably always will be for a very long time. Um, parafilm works great 
Uh, I do find that with age, it does tend to dry out and crack. Um, so then your plates will unseal if you like leave them around for a long time. Um, it's also quite expensive. What I really like to use is grafting tape. I'll put a link down in the comments, uh, a link down in the description, I mean. Uh, grafting tape's great. It comes in these perfect little size rolls, and they're just great for wrapping plates. I mean, they tear off very easily, very clingy. Um, this is what I've been using for a really long time. I don't even touch the parafilm anymore, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, share. It helps the channel grow. So it definitely helps significantly. Um, and check out my Patreon. I'm doing a lot of cool stuff over there. It's free to join. There's a lot of good content over there that's um, advertisement free. So until next time, guys, much love. Peace. See ya.